By following a strict crop rotation program, a Jackson County farmer has consistently increased the yield on his wheat crop. Above normal temperatures this spring allowed the state wheat harvest to occur several weeks ahead of schedule. While statewide production numbers have been good, there is a way for wheat growers to significantly improve their yields, making the crop more profitable. Tommy Young of Jackson County is an example of a farmer who several years ago changed his crop rotation to include corn, and for the past five years has consistently produced yields of 90 to 100 bushels per acre on his wheat. What you're looking at here today is a good example of a corn, wheat, and soybean rotation. On the right, we have full season corn, which will be harvested in August. After the corn is harvested, we will plant wheat on this in October. The wheat on the left here will be harvested this spring, and after the wheat is harvested, we will plant soybeans. So we have, therefore, the corn, wheat, and soybean rotation. Growing wheat after corn has proven to be key to improving yields. I feel like that a lot of it has to do with the fertilization that we use in the corn. We know that we're getting some carryover in the, in the fertilizer from the corn over into the wheat. We also feel like that the herbicides that we're using on the corn crops uh, are better for all the rotations, especially for the soybeans. The winter wheat crop is usually planted in October. So following corn in this rotation offers another benefit. The corn's gonna be harvested in August. We've got a month or two months to get the land prepared. Uh, so we can get the wheat planted more timely. Now, if we were following soybeans, uh, say if they're harvested in October, uh, that window to get the land prepared and get things planted is a lot shorter. And of course, uh, some, some years it starts raining and we may not be able to get the crop in. And so following corn, we've got more of a, more of a window to get things planted. Uh, I feel like we've got more opportunity to do land preparation, get the drainage we need to get the wheat planted and get it up to a good start. The record statewide average in Arkansas is 61 bushels per acre. The state average this year is expected to be 56 bushels. With the price of wheat around $7, and by adopting this corn, wheat, soybean rotation model, there's an opportunity for farmers to significantly increase their profit margins. 